Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Scottsville Sunday, the 9th of April. And we've got a nine-race program on the turf at Scottsville. Should be a good card, and the first is off at 12 o'clock. So don't um, miss that. Uh, as very interesting juvenile plates. Uh, 24 pin prometer, good to soft, 7.5 meter false trail will be fantastic going for the horses. And first race, we kick off with the uh, corner speech runner Zoo Bomba. Looks like the right horse Zoo Bomba, and uh, drawn one is going to be an advantage. Uh, have a close look at the Michael Miller runner and number six winter games. They say will run well now. That gives us a good inclination as to what they expect because this team has a lot of juvenile winners and I expect this one to go extremely well. Watch him go down. Future flow number eight, improved last run. Look for improvement with the um, Venica Roberts team and um, let the flag fly. Might improve, uh, run two fair races. Race two, maiden juvenile plate. 1200 meters. Now, what is interesting about this race is uh, Vaughan Marshall runner number 11. There'd be money for this, and um, he says, Will be green and will need the run. Uh, it's quite specific, but there's money for it. So, I have a very close look at what goes on. The stable, um, I don't know, Vaughan himself's a betting man, but the uh, rest of them, it's a betting stable. So have a close look, and it's owned by um, uh, one of the Jockey Club esteemed members. So it will be interesting to see how transparent that comment is. Nine, star performer, good first, backed first time out, got to be the horse to beat. I think, thought Andy Kugel didn't run badly at all, might improve, but um, a mystery cash, number 12, might be the big danger to the favourite uh, from the Cotson stable. They get them ready first time out. Right, race three. Uh, first leg of the PA. Uh, maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,200 metres. I like in the buzz. I think three good runs. Chase Mujin jumps on this one now. If you look, he rode Daddy's Jet last time. And um, he's now taken the ride on in the buzz. That's a pointer. So let's have a close look at that. The hot favourite is number seven, Mia Sophia. I've been with her more times than I can remember. Uh, so Mia Sophia, well, she'll probably get relegated to second or third again, but she is a runner in this type of field. Daddy's Jet and Fire Phoenix, I think, will both go well. Race four, maiden plate, fillies and mares, 17.50. I'm going strongly with number four, Diana the Huntress. Race four, number four, um, Huge drift last time out, they ran on from stone motherless. It was really out of the race completely and really ran on extremely well. So um, this should suit it, the 17.50 by Futura out of a Caesar mare. If she's come on, she'll be very, very hard to beat. The two dangers, seven jollification and eight Nanotti. Race uh, five, maiden plate, uh, 17.50. I'm going strongly with Radicchio, number five. I think he's absolutely ready. I liked him last time. And um, he got backed in uh, heavily and just didn't get to uh, uh, the winner. And I think he'll be much better this time over the 17.50. So he's also all got to beat. Doing time, I think, will run well. And then safe space. And maybe Red Piano as a bit of a roughie. We saw that... Um, the Finlayson team had a big roughy win at Turpentine yesterday. Dungeons took the blinkers off, just shows you, made a big difference. Race six, the mare rated 92, uh, 1400 meters. Well, the hot favorite here um, is number three, Noble City, but it's got a job to do. This is an uneasy race. Runaway songs change stables. We don't know anything about its fitness. But um, it did very well with the Snake team and now with Canamar. Um, and obviously we moved to Durban for the Durban season. The daughter, uh, son of Lynch's late, pretty useful. They had five wins and five places and 11 starts. Champapo, Champizi, I think this will always go well. There's a perfect trip and Rachel gets a ride. Noble City, beatable, I think. Ensuing and go, man, go. But definitely come into the race with a chance. So I'm going to add a few here. Race seven. Mary rated 76 fillies and mares, 1,200 metres is the hardest race on the card. Let's start at the top, Conchita, while I don't give her much chance. In Beiru, this might improve, 14 to 1. Put it into all your play. Pelagonia, also got a chance. 
there or thereabouts, good form to back her up. Same with Bright Star. They both look like they got a chance. All a little bit naughty. Comes from back from KwaZulu Natal. Might need it and might be short for it. Palm Breeze has got form. Cinnamon Blush, another one for my shortlist. Got very good form. Cinnamon Blush. I expect her to go well. She's run two very nice races since her uh, maiden win. But the horse they've all got to beat is number eight, Bonnie Bush. I think she's exactly the right horse. Third run after a race, good form, lots to like. But it doesn't stop there. Hugs and high fives won well on a debut, and not a great time. Uh, Shanta's Pride. This might improve quite a lot. Uh, the comment is, is that it has done enough at, at home and might improve. Aga Heat, always there or thereabouts. And as Pusterki, well, she's consistent as well. So I very, find it very hard to find a winner, but Bonnie Bush will be my top choice with Cinnamon Blush. They look like it too. Right, let's go to race eight. Pinnacle, 1,000 meters. Well, as I've always said, this horse is Vungu Vungu. is obviously a very good horse, but he's extremely badly rated, handicapped. He's a three-time winner. We've got a rating up there with the best in the country, and um, maybe he should have been a six-time winner. Anyway, he's run with the best, and he's going to be extremely hard to beat. But if you go back in form, good traveler beat him over a 1,000 meters on the poly, uh, mind you, but uh, at much um, uh, better weight terms. So I would have thought that a good traveler, if he comes back fresh and runs a good race uh, and he's ready and wanted, he should go very well. Rachel rides him, but Renaissance man gets um, one and a half claimer, carries 49 and a half, he's fast. The other one that's fast is get in the queue. So this race, there'll be a lot of pace. I think the closers will have the measure. And it depends where the good traveler can get into the race in time. Race nine. Uh, this is a, a merited handicap. They go 1,600 meters. And I made it a two-corner contest. I really like Professor Snape. Uh, I don't know what the comment is. Uh, we haven't heard from the Marshall team. But I would expect uh, this to be very hard to beat. Anora Storm. Um, I think this is a runner here. Looks like ready. The only problem is second run. And then Golden Peace, good form, and Jazz Festival, improved last. So I'm sticking with um, Professor Snape, taking that he is in good health. If he's in good health, it'd be hard to beat. From me, James Goodman, the whole Interbet crew, have a great day's racing at Scottsville today.